I'm Scott Allen Miller and this is my life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today we are starting at the Cemetario San Sebastian because we are heading into the barrio of Heroes and Martyrs of Sutiava. We've walked past it before, we've gone along the edge, we've never actually done a tour of the barrio itself. So we're heading in there now, so come along with me as we explore a new barrio on the northwest side of Leon, Nicaragua. All right, we start our journey out on this little road. There's a couple different ways of getting into Heroes and Martyrs of Sutiava, but the easiest, I think, is to start here on this little relatively quiet road that leads into Santa Maria. Now, this is a barrio that we have shown previously, but we didn't know the name of it. I'm gonna do my best to go add this as a tag to that video just so it can be found again. But Google just added the name in the last 48 hours, because I just checked it again, as I always do, and Google has no name for it, but Santa Maria has finally been labeled on this community that you see behind me, which is important because there's bus stops here and a few things and a restaurant that's really well known in the community. But we're gonna be heading down here, and you can, actually, I'm gonna show, the buses here are quite frequent uh, because it's a little bit farther out from the center, so you need public transportation to get anywhere for work. That's a very empty bus and we're actually gonna wait for the next bus to come through. So this, we're gonna show this on a map while we're sitting here, but we're sitting uh, just behind La Salle University. So this is a community full of teachers and professors uh, who are working at the schools here in, in Western Sutiava, but it's a very quiet, more suburban area. Now it's not suburban in the American sense. This is a relatively low income barrio, but it's not, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty safe, it's very nice. It has a restaurant, uh, there's some pulperias, it has nice roads, it has really good bus access. And we're gonna head to the west to its neighboring barrio of Heroes and Martyrs of Sutiava from the road just behind me. All right, as we begin our journey, I was filming right up there just to, so I came down the hill. This is the first crossroad of Santa Maria. You can see the buses waiting at the bus stop. The village is not very big, or the barrio. It actually ends just a block past that bus. And uh, this little dirt path is where we're heading. This is the connector between Santa Maria and Heroes and Martyrs. Now you can also travel on the main road and get there. What is this? Get there that way, but this is more interesting and we haven't shown this one before. <clears throat> now we're actually doing this at 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday. So all the traffic you see here, all the people going places are, <laughs> are uh, Saturday morning activity. Now on the left, we have what appears to be an orchard. It's on quite a rise but it's got a layout of fruit bearing trees. On the right is all agave, blocking us from what I assume is a quinta. It is a nice morning, I'm glad I was able to get up. I just happened to be up having my coffee and someone needed a ride into Sutiava and I'm like, you know what? I'm coming along. And I jumped in the car and uh, I've been lighting and filming this morning. I didn't have a real good plan on how I was going to get out here. I can, I'm just going to show a little bit. I'm going to raise up the camera. You can see what's behind this agave just a little bit. Oh, and you can see a bit of the orchard. And in the distance, we can hear we are very close to a cemetery. I think that's what we see through the trees. We are very close to the fields at La Salle, so we can hear the bands practicing. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Practicing in the fields. And uh, so there's drums and buenos dias. And uh, marimbas and xylophones wafting through the area. Uh, here we go. Some big open space. Oh, this is Savende. This is for sale. So someone looking for a little bit of a farmstead in a nice safe area, totally, totally hidden. This is available. Look at this big ramp that used to be here. Ooh, super interesting. 
Now I can't see the number. I'd have to go down there and really work at it. If someone really wants to know, we can figure this out. This is a beautiful spot though, and beautiful view of the volcanoes. I know on the super wide lens of the GoPro, they seem so far away, but when you're actually standing here, they're quite impressive. What a good view you have of them. So this is, and then you can see, I think you can see that is corn that is in that back field back there. Uh, and then there's kind of a meadow or a pasture in front of it. So you have quite a beautiful, peaceful spot. And while this is a dirt road, it is definitely passable. You'd have no problem getting cars, trucks, tractors, whatever you need down here. That is definitely the cemetery, not the cemetery we started off showing. This is the cemetery at Heroes and Martyrs. Through there. Now we have the beginning of the houses of the barrio and a horse. Oh, another horse. And we have a little side road. Okay, so this first bus you'll see says Yazaki on it. That is because it is not a city bus. It is a bus for the manufacturing plant. They actually pay to drive around the city. Buenos dias. And they pick people up to go to work so that they can have people from all over the city who don't have their own transportation. Buenos dias. And uh, so if you're out in a barrio and far from the plant because the plant is in the zona franca on the east side of the city it's not super far i could walk to it but it would take hours it would be completely impractical if i was a plant worker oh here the cemetery comes right up to the road here and there's people in there there's quite a few people in there working on the cemetery and a horse wandering i don't know if you can see the horse way back there straight ahead but there's a horse wandering around there was someone working in the cemetery on the far end of it when I came by as well. So a lot of activity for a remote cemetery on a Saturday morning. So plant workers, because it's a manufacturing plant for car and motorcycle parts, turning to the left just a little bit here. There's a car going by. It's gonna show this is the road that goes out to the main road. So just down there, we have walked by in several videos like the Cerro de Oro videos, when I walked out and tried to climb Cerro de Oro, we would have gone past that road where it connects to the main, the main road going west. Okay, a little pulperia there. This is most definitely a much poorer community than Santa Maria. Some music coming from the houses. I think the left goes out to the main road as well. We're not very far. We're just the cemetery width from the main road. So we've got a left here that heads in that direction. And this kind of veers off to the left. So we're gonna stay over here in the barrio. I'm in the middle of houses and my voice carries. Another horse, so many horses. And a kitty. Oh, hello kitty, good morning. Little empty space here. And here is a church. We've kind of reached the edge of the barrio, it looks like. This is not a big place. This is the Great Commission, Church of the New Creation. Not familiar. Definitely one of the rougher churches. One of these. 
Oh, we got a truck coming. Okay, this is maybe a, I don't know what this is, but I can't go in here. It's, uh, I didn't see this, but you can't pass through here. So there's like, that's definitely a government building, but it could be police. It could be just city, uh, uh, city works. It could be something like that. People coming out of it didn't say anything to me. So not really concerned. I think it's just don't break in when it's closed. Adio. But we can't go that direction. But we can check it out on a map, which while we're walking this way, I'll bring up a map and show you what that is. And we'll see if we can get around to it because this is definitely high over whatever that is. So there's like a big lower area there. <clears throat> it's so quiet. It's quiet, but the houses are close, so everybody in the houses can hear me talking. It makes me... Normally, I'm pretty brave when walking around filming, but when it gets really close and quiet, it's like... I don't mind filming, but the sound of my voice carries so much because no one else is talking. And my voice is different than everyone else's, so it's like... Hmm, who is this? What is going on? All right, let's... uh. We're just going to explore some of these streets, see where they go. This is seriously a sleepy place. Got a cute doggy in the road. Oh, I scared him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Hi, sorry. All right, what is the S? They sell beans and sodas there. Got a bit more of a normal house nestled in here in the shade. Oh, this road drops off precipitously. This would be why cars don't come down here. Holy cow. One of these. Okay, this house on the end has a built-up retaining wall. Oh, I know where this road is when it comes out to the main road. Yeah, this really drops down. Walking this isn't a problem. But if you had if you had a vehicle, and I can't imagine anyone comes up here in a vehicle, but if you did, this is all 4x4 territory here. I'm interested to show a little bit, so I'm inching my way down. The road is very uneven. Nobody walks this, so it is... Pretty bad. We have a little path here going off to another house back behind. A lot of, a lot of upset chickens going on. I don't know why I'm walking down here. This feels incredibly stupid. So there's a lower road there, though. No, I think we need to go down. All right, come on, folks. Let's keep exploring. Where's your sense of adventure? You guys are wusses. You're all like, no, no, it's not worth it. But it is. We must explore. Come along, GoPro denizens. Oh, perfect view of the field, actually. Oh, what a neat spot. See, these little these little off-road adventures are always worth it. You guys doubt me. You, you have so little faith. Okay, so here's where the... 
I've seen this before because I've walked this road many a time. So that's the main road down there, the pavered road with the guy on the bicycle. That is the road that goes out to the west to Cerro de Oro. And here you see there's a little pavered path that goes up over there. I actually don't see my own screen. Right there. And then there's a couple houses here that have access right to that. So those are nicer houses here. And then this is, I've seen this from the road and I'm like, ooh. How do you get there? But then there's this dirt path that goes along the front. But before we do that, there's a baseball game going on over there. That is the community. So in not long ago, I did a response video to Mike who had comments about how there were no outdoor spaces in Nicaragua and you couldn't come and do things outside. And this area, I'm hoping to show, I know this is really far off in the distance, but this is a whole bunch of open areas here. And this is Sutiava. So this is in the city, you can walk. So the one that I showed in that video was uh, in, in southeastern Leon. This is in western Leon, but I wanna show this. So out there, there's a good 60 people doing some kind of sport out in an open field. And when it's not Saturday morning and you're not doing some big organized thing like that, there's a big jogging path. So this is the Sutiava jogging area. And then here, hopefully I'm pointing, we have a baseball game underway. Looks like children, but I can't really tell. I'm pretty sure that's small kids playing baseball and a number of people out watching as well. So this is, this is like a popular spot to stop. And this big dirt area here is the parking. So you can just drive in on this pavered road, pull off here, and you've got this big parking area like no issues at all. If you've got a car or you want to get dropped off, you can come out here and then use this space. I walk to it. And then here we have adults, I think, maybe those are kids. I think they're adults playing baseball as well. So there's at least three fields in use with outdoor activities going on right now. And yes, it's Saturday morning. So it's like the ultimate time for families to come out and do family park activities like this. But most of the week, they're empty or nearly empty. There's often people will come out here and practice driving. People will come out here and ride bicycles around. And of course, jogging isn't popular here. But if what you want to do is come jog, that is, that's the road. And right, right past those trees is Sutiava. So if you're in Sutiava, you want to come use these fields, that close field up there, that's the one with the jogging path, is right there and so easy to use. Okay, we walked over one road. This one is in a little bit better shape, but still I wouldn't want to drive this, but you can, in a truck, come off the road, come up this, and we're gonna head up this way. This is definitely better than the other one. And my watch says we just hit our first mile. And this is the cemetery. That's the horse. <coughs> Little path between the roads. This place on the left has a nice little pasture with a water hook up in the middle. That's interesting. This is actually, <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, to most of you, if you're an expat and you wanted really low cost living and you wanted to be one of the S in a very friendly neighborhood area, uh, Lots or existing houses here would be extremely affordable and it would let you get away from other expats. There is definitely no other expats in this area. So it's an opportunity where you could kind of disappear and have a little bit of privacy 
you in the community would stand out like a sore thumb, obviously, but it is a tiny community. And oh, we have a traffic jam. This truck can't get through because of the horse drawn logs. One of the yes. Yeah. This is a pretty typical Nicaragua traffic jam right here. This, I believe, is fencing material. Got his own relief horse right there. All right, let's head this way. This camera is going to overheat soon. We are in the sun. That is horse poo. It's a lot of elevation change in this barrio. It's not it's not dramatic, but it gives you a lot more exercise. One of these. A couple houses. Oh, cute doggy. Hello, doggy. And we've kind of reached the end. Not a lot past here. Got an open field here, but I hear a motorcycle, so there's something. Oh, and we have a path that goes along the back. We're going to explore that after we go down this one. Great view of the volcanoes from here, and you can see a pig. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, un momento. All right, we're continuing down this path. <laughs> Sounds like a car is going to run me over, but it's a child on a little plastic scooter. Oh, oh, check out this view. That is Cerro de Oro through there. You can see, maybe you can't see, but that is Cerro de Oro by the big tree. <laughs> it is, this is a beautiful spot. That would be a nice field to use for something. But it's also nice having a big open space here. But you could put in a house with a view and a nice yard, really nice mature trees around the edges. This is a, a real light fence and wooded area on the right. And then, oh, there's something, there's like a house or something back there. Oh, nice breeze all of a sudden coming right through this spot. That must be probably because there's no trees. Then, aha, there's more back here. Then, oh, check this out. A lot of built up dirt access. Okay, so the thing that was restricted access, I can already see it on the map that said I couldn't pass. Obviously, I could have passed. That's why they didn't care. It is the water treatment plant. It's just a little bit dangerous. They don't want kids playing in there and falling in, and they want to be able to lock up their equipment. But nothing, nothing uh, restricted or anything like that. According to the map, we're at the end of civilization. There's a little river back behind. A little path going into the woods there. Just to that house. Oh, another cute dog. So many cute, friendly dogs in this neighborhood. Do you notice no one's barking at me today? They're all very healthy, very happy dogs that aren't worried. <laughs> He's playing in the field. He's chasing something. It is a beautiful day for a walk. I'm glad I got up and got moving. I am filming this just three days. Wow. Just saying it is like, ooh, I need to get ready. Three days before we head to Costa Rica and off to Argentina. Uh, where I'm going to be doing a lot of walking and filming, I sure hope. Now check this out, this is interesting. This is a, obviously, much larger house here. We have a little bit of a garden or something. I don't know if that's open. You can tell a lot of houses here, a lot of electric hookups. And then we've got some houses with big walls, garage. Completely different vibe in this one house. As you do in Nicaragua, as you do in most of the world. Not separating by types. 
Everyone's neighborhood is everyone's neighborhood. Buenos dias. Como están? Bien. And this little doggy. Hi. Oh, you're sleepy. Oh, we got some beautiful fields here. Look at this nice, nice open area right there. This neighborhood really has a friendly vibe. The dogs, the people, I mean, everyone's friendly. It's Nicaragua, right? This region is famous for how friendly it is, uh, both here and El Salvador. But, you know, sometimes you walk through and people are kind of wary or whatever. And here, it seems like everybody's like, ooh, well, hello. Like there's just a tone in the voice that's a little bit more welcoming. Okay, we've definitely hit the end. You can see a fence back there. That's the water treatment. These are the last houses, but they're working on that last little bit of road. So I'm actually going to turn off the camera, let it cool off for a little bit as we backtrack and find some new places to film. All right, we are back where the road goes off to the right and to the left. So now we're going to go to the left, see what we can find. Much taller roof here on the left. There was, as I was walking back, I didn't manage to film it, but there was actually a good size pulperia, so you could get quite a few things, bread and, you know, drinks and necessities here in the barrio, which is important in all these places. You don't want to have to take a vehicle into town or something just to get real basic stuff. Ooh, suddenly we've got clouds. What is going on? All right, we got another, woo! Got another little side street heading back to the main road, but this one continues on. Being followed by someone with a large bag of something. Oh, and another little puppy. All right, we're up to the water treatment plant again. Let's see if we can get a view. And we've kind of exhausted town. We've got this dark little road going down. We will go down there. Do not worry. So this is where the open drains go in town. Gotta go somewhere. So they actually go directly to the water treatment plant, which is a little bit funny. But why have plumbing when you can just drain straight to where it needs to go? Practical, practical. And uh, this is it. Sutiava water treatment. Buenos dias. Voy a grabar arriba. Okay, guys, we got a view of Cerro de Oro and the Sutiava water treatment plants. This is kind of perfect to see how things are done. A lot of people have told me, oh, I don't think there's water treatment, but there is all over the city. We've been to some in the south before, but now we're going to show you one in the northwest with Cerro de Oro behind, which is super cool. All right, and you can see there's a lot of water in there. Ooh, compromiso. What are these? And uh, we're gonna head back and go on a less difficult path to head back to the main road. And we're gonna walk back on the main road because it, it is easier. Right here. This is my plan to go down this one. This is wide and much less steep. It doesn't have water running down it. This is basically the farthest western extent of Heroes and Martyrs of Sitiava. Oh, we got some heavy rocks over here. House is way up top. Pretty cool. Ready. 
There's a tricycle in town. Another dog. Lots of dogs in this neighborhood. Not a single one has followed me, not a single one has barked at me. One of the S. That is a tiny little house right there. Oh. This is a very interesting little bit. Just the way that the houses are laid out. And like, clearly once upon a time they were sure this is gonna be something, but that's a, that's a wall behind. I mean, that's a wall of soil. So they built this wall, presumably to hold back the dirt, I guess. And it's full of drainage, which implies it meant to have dirt up to that level or thought it was gonna fill with water up to that level. And they never did anything. But then there's a house here up on top with a car. Like interesting, very interesting. Oh, and then we have open space here. Someone's clearing with a fire, probably burning leaves and such. That's pretty common. Oh, who knows? Like, was that meant to be a house or maybe a lower patio? Hopefully, you guys can see it. The camera's not always at my eye level. It's not easy to tell what you guys can see. Oh, tractor just went by. This is. The road going into Heroes and Martyrs that I always really notice from the main road. And that's the main road right there. And they pavered this road just enough to get you off the main road. You could do a turnaround and not have to hit the dirt. But if you actually are coming up here, you're coming on dirt. But this is clearly the road you would want to take to get into town. And then we got the parks off to the left, which I'm gonna to try to show. And if we go to the right, we go to the Unan Arboretum and Cerro de Oro. We have hiked that previously. I will hike it again, but not today. And then I wanna show this, we've shown this before as we hiked by, but you can see what the earth looks like here. This is what people are building on in this area. And so that's, that's what you're seeing. And then as we come along in front here, this is some of the little side roads that we were coming down are these little cuts here. We actually didn't cover that much physical ground because so that, that's actually a lot where you could have a driveway coming right onto the main road and be in this barrio, but be accessible onto the main road instead of into the barrio, which I can see being quite desirable. All right, we're gonna cut the camera for a minute. We're just going past places that we were. Well, I guess I'm gonna get to this. Oh, I got a nice breeze all of a sudden. Ooh, it's pleasant, very pleasant. It's really nice for all these people out here playing the game. We're gonna show some of that. And uh, so here's the sign. So this is technically not a barrio, but technically a reparto, but a reparto is really type of barrio. And we got the tractor with all the guys. One of the S. <laughs> okay, this is the reparto. Gracias a Dios y Eros and Martires de Sutiava. So that means suburban area, right? Like a neighborhood, like a like a city ward, but more suburban. Thanks to God and the heroes and martyrs of Sutiava. That is the full name. We just call it Heroes and Martires de Sutiava. The main Eros y Martires is Saragossa. So you always have to say Sutiava with this one. And this is where we were there and there was a little, little dirt path that we didn't come down. That's right there. 
and there was a little pavered bit that went up and that's right there so that gives you an idea of where we are we're across from the sports areas fields so we're gonna head over there and uh get some get some pictures of that so you can see how easy it is to come out and enjoy outdoor activities in nicaragua saturday morning games There's a lot of people out here watching games, warming up. All right, these are bands and color guards practicing. And you can see one of the baseball games going on over there. There's a lot of people out here. And if I turn around, oh, they're doing a formation. Only for a moment, apparently. Over here, oh, you can see the bus going into Santa Maria. And there is, there's the cemetery, if you can see it, and another tractor going by. And motorcycles going up past the entrance to the cemetery. <laughs> Hola! Bien y vos! <laughs> Everybody's very excited to be in in the show. Not what they were expecting on a Saturday morning. All right, taking the path out of here. All right, that was our walkthrough of the Heroes and Martyrs of Sutiava and the fields around it there in the northwestern area, just west of La Salle, La Salle, this is tough. In French, it is La Salle, which is where it actually is from. It's a French school in the United States. We call it La Salle sometimes, La Salle sometimes. In normal Spanish, it is La Salle, and in Nicaraguan, it is La Salle. Uh, so who knows what you're supposed to call it or what people expect you to call it. But anyway, the university, the technical university here in northwestern Leon, in the municipality of Sutiava, just west of there, we went through the neighborhoods of Santa Maria and Heroes and Martyrs of Sutiava, which is spelled with a B. In that particular case, the main barrio is generally spelled with a V, but you never know. It used to be a B, they switched, but that one did not. Technically, Repartos, and now we are heading back on the Ponaloya Road. Thanks. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to help support the channel, you know what to do. You can buy me a coffee. And this is an early morning walk. I could use a coffee. I've not yet had my caffeine or even a full glass of water yet. I'm ready for some fluids. That coffee be very appreciated. You can do that at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Al Miller. That's a real thing. You just go there and you can literally buy me coffee. It's really cool. And uh, just thanks for joining me, I guess. It was great having you guys on another walk. I will see all of you tomorrow.